offer. Nobody has sold more Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram vehicles than the Landers family. If you're looking for a hassle-free, stress-free buying experience, then Cowboy Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, and Clint is your place to shop. We've got all the trucks you're looking for with brand new V8 Ram trucks starting at just $29,988. If there's a job to be done, we've got the truck for it. Ram 2500, 3500, gas or diesel, crew cab, mega cab, or cabin chassis, we've got all the trucks. Nobody will beat a cowboy deal on your next Jeep with up to $5,000 off or an available 0% interest. Shop us today. Jeep Gladiator, Wrangler, Grand Cherokee, Wagoneer. It's all in stock and ready to deliver. If you want to pay too much, buy somewhere else. If you want the car deal you've always waited for, Cowboy Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Clinton is your place to shop. It's quick and easy. Jump online at CowboyCDJR.com or give us a call at 501-745-5333. Cowboy up or you'll pay too much. Uh, a few couple of minutes here from uh, tip off for the boys game so uh, I didn't realize there at the end of the girls game that we lost our connection and so we weren't able to stream the last portion of the girls game so if you're watching the girls game I'm so sorry it was exciting exciting end I'm not sure how much of the end of the game didn't come out to you but the girls um, hung on and got the victory 56 to 48 so uh, very very excited and so sorry about the little uh, streaming mishap we had there for just a second um, we got a, we got the streaming line back out now, and we're going to be able to get started here with the boys' game. And trying to fix all those mix-ups at um, halftime, I wasn't able, or during in between the game, I didn't get a chance to write the lineups down. But I do have a picture that I took with my phone earlier. So uh, starting for uh, the Pangburn. So you're, uh, you've are got Shirley versus Pangburn boys about to tip off here at Shirley. Starting for Pangburn is, um, oh, you know what? They didn't They didn't give me a picture. <laughs> they gave me a picture of Shirley's starting lineups instead of Pangburn. So sorry, guys. Uh, I don't think they realize that. Starting for Shirley is going to be uh, number two, Taylor Spencer. Number three, Tyler Spencer. Number 11, Hogan Little. Uh, number 23, Hunter Bradford, and um, number 34, Eric Newell. And I will do my best. Um, well, I just won't have the Penguins play the game, uh, their names for you um, this game, and that's what happens when you have technical difficulties sometimes. So... If I can get those between quarters for you, I sure will, and I'll just be calling them out by number until then. Just, yeah, Terry, if you'll just go get a picture of um, their, the Penguin lineup, if you'll just take a picture of it for me. <laughs> Thank you. Bless Terry's heart. He didn't know he was, he's coming to set work with somebody that was, that was so ill-prepared. <laughs> so he's uh, Terry's going to head down there. You can see him in the bottom of your camera going over to get a picture of Pangburn's lineup for me so I won't be uh, completely useless to you um, this game being able to call out those players names for you all right we're ready to tip it off here come down immediately uh, Tyler Spencer is going to be looking uh, for the quick no that was Taylor I'm sorry that was Taylor Spencer looking for the quick three in the corner didn't go uh, that's knocked out of bounds by Pangburn Shirley will get the ball back here with a uh, reset of the shot clock Tyler Spencer drives in dumps it down to Eric Newell and Eric will get Shirley on the board first this score of 
set here. Kramer looked for the looked for the shot there, but it didn't go. Shirley gets a rebound. Hunter got a, a pass. Uh, Hunter Bradford with the pass inside to Eric. Uh, hot pass was actually a little off the mark, but Eric uh, went up and absolutely pulled that pass down. Uh, got the shot, but it put him in a pretty awkward position underneath the backboard, so the shot didn't go. They tried to get it into him again there, but Pangburn knocks it away. Looks like in the game for Pangburn is number 44, Rhett Tharp. Uh, number 15, Caden Burgess. Number 22, Cole Ramsey. Foul there on Eric. Eric, no. <laughs> oh, no, not on Eric. Uh, on call on 11. Uh, 11, Hogan Little. I was chuckling because um, Eric, Eric's been known to get an early foul, and I thought, well... <laughs> He's gotten one himself one again, but I was wrong, so pleasantly surprised. Good block. Ball knocked away there by Shirley. Good job. Number 44. Rhett Tharp looking for the basket for Pangburn, but it won't go. Hogan's going to drive to the other end. His layup won't go. Pangburn rebounds. Got six, um, just at six minutes to go here in the first quarter. Hamer looks for the long three. Hunter, uh, Hunter Bradford with the rebound there for Shirley. Hogan Little with the long three from the top of the key. It's off the back of the rim. Pangburn rebounds. A 44, Rhett Tharp there uh, rebounding for Pangburn. Number 12, Cade, Cade Rowland also um, in the ball game for Pangburn. Pangburn works it inside. 44 turns around, it shoots, but it won't go. I think that shot was partially blocked on that. Okay, too. perfect. Long three by Tyler Spencer. Won't fall. Uh, both Newell and number 12 there for Pangburn. Trying to Cade Rowland, trying to trying to wrangle that rebound in, uh, but Rowland was uh, called for being out of bounds there. So ball was back to Shirley, but Pangburn knocks the ball away, and um, they'll get another look here. Five minutes to go here in the first quarter. Door cut by Pangburn, and that's gonna that's gonna be their first basket. That's gonna put them on the board. The good uh, backdoor cut, good pass to find the open man there. Oh, nice pass into inside to Eric. Eric Newell Hogan Little um, saw that Eric was going to have a, a narrow opening there. Just threaded the needle to get the, pa the pass into him. Eric um, makes the basket and draws the foul. Number 44, uh, Rhett Tharp called with his first personal foul, the team's first foul. And Eric's going to convert at the free throw line to put Shirley up 5-2, to 4-18 to go here in the first quarter. Shirley putting some pressure on there. Had to trap at half court. Pangburn was able to step through it. Get the long three from the corner. That was number 15. Caden Burgess got that three for Pangburn. Pangburn's come out here in a 2-3 zone. It's Tyler Spencer. A little running jumper there that didn't fall. 
Penguin rebounds. Tyler gets a steal here. He's going to tip the ball away, and he's going to get the breakaway layup. Really good job there anticipating that pass and tipping it out to himself. Foul called. Foul called this time on um, 34, Eric Newell. That's his first uh, personal foul and the second team foul. 3.14 to go here in the first quarter. Long three uh, there by Pangburn. Shirley uh, rebounds. Uh, Tyler Spencer gets it up quickly to Eric Newell, but it's knocked out of bounds. It'll remain Shirley's. Shirley's ball inbounds it here. And it looks like uh, Coach Bradley's going to call a timeout for Shirley. It'll be a 30-second timeout. Uh, but we'll go ahead and take this uh, take this time out with him. Coming out of that 30 second timeout that Shirley took. 2.55 in the first. Hogan. Hogan Little again getting the pass and inside to Eric Null. Eric's going to be, uh, Eric's going to draw the foul there. Shirley just continues to take advantage of that high advantage. And the uh, just a really good job that Eric does of getting positioned there. Eric's first free throws up and it it falls for him. Second free throw bounces in and out. This is where that shot clock comes in that a year ago would they sit there and hold it right until the end of the quarter with two minutes left if they wanted to for one shot. That stops that. Right. And now they're down to five seconds. They're gonna have to take a take a take a hard shot here and they're not gonna get it off. They're not gonna beat the shot clock there. Yep. They called well, it. Well, I guess they said they did. Yep. They did and then the, the score the score table didn't reset uh, the shot clock. So let let's see what the official word's gonna be here, I believe. Hamburn got the rebound there after the initial, after the miss, when the shot clock wound down the first time, and then yeah, the the clock, the table just didn't get the shot clock reset. The um, official said it hit the rim, yeah. yes. and so it reset the shot clock. Should have, yeah. is what it should have done. Yeah, so um, we got it, got it reset here now to get this score updated for you correctly. There we go. 145 to go in the first. Taylor Spencer uh, looking for the long three there. Doesn't go. Penguin rebounds. And I feel like Penguin is probably um, going to continue to um, work it down to the last. I don't, I don't think they want to get in the running game with Shirley. It's five oh, nice so job call. right there on Eric Newell. Uh, really good defense just continuing to put pressure on the ball there. Um, preventing preventing Pangburn from being able to make a pass and get in that five second call. Tyler Spencer drives. His layup's good. Pangburn looks for the shot from the corner. It doesn't go. The ball uh, rebounds tipped out. It gets, goes back to Pangburn. They're going to get another look. This time number 15. 
Sorry, I got to look back on my phone here. It's a picture. <laughs> Ronnie. Uh, sorry. Wrong line up there. Still the wrong line up. Still the wrong line up. Here we go. Now I'm back to the right one. Number 15, Caden Burgess. With that basket on the other end. Shirley works it inside. Gets it into Eric Newell. He gets a look. Shot won't go. But he is fouled, so he'll head to the free throw line. It's first free throw. It's good. Yeah, 30, 30 seconds left on the uh, game clock here. In the first quarter, second free throws off the mark. Going to work it down to one shot here, I think. Yeah. Try to make it a good one for him. Try to they take usually, the lead about with 10 seconds to go, will usually put their play into action, and that's what they're doing here with seven seconds, five seconds. The end of the first quarter, Shirley holding on to a one-point lead as we take this break. Let's get a word from our sponsors. You're watching Lake. in Hamber Springs is a proud supporter of the Lake Area Athletes. If you or your student athlete are looking to get back in shape or for therapy after an injury, give Ivy Physical Therapy a call at 501-362-8118 or visit ivyphysicaltherapy.com. Second, uh, second quarter underway. Shirley hosting the Penguin Tigers at Shirley. 15. Long three for Penguin. Shot doesn't go. Spencer. Taylor Spencer with the rebound. He's going to kick it over to Little. His three is way off the mark. Penguin rebounds. Obviously, uh, Pangburn came in with a game plan to um, attempt to work the shot clock down. And, and every possession is what they've done. This time they threw the ball away with 13 seconds left to go on the shot clock. But again, they were trying to uh, work that shot clock. Checked in for Shirley's number four, Alex Gardner. Tyler Spencer uh, tries to go in for the layup. It doesn't fall, but they come up with the rebound. Hogan Little drives uh, to the basket, and he's going to uh, get the call there. Blocking foul on number 44, Rhett. Rhett Tharp. His second personal foul. The team's fourth. Little will be at the line for Shirley. His free throw, his free throw won't fall. Second free throws off the mark as well. This time 
Cameron gets the, the play they were looking for. They kick the ball to the corner, then immediately right back inside. So Tharp, he's able to get the quick basket under the... That's a moving off screen. The block. Oh, they called a moving screen. Okay. Who is that called against? Number four. Oh, it was called against Alex Gardner, number four. Checking back in for Shirley, number 23, Hunter Bradford. 6.26 to go here in the second quarter. Shirley leading by one. Oh, I've got it on the... No, I've got that right. Penguin leading by one. Shot clock down to 13. Penguin looks for the long three from the top of the key. It misses. Missed the rim there, bounced out of bounds, so Shirley will get the ball back. Six minutes to go in the second quarter. Little gets the ball inside to, to Newell. Newell turns around. Nice little spin move there. Put Shirley up by one. 536 to play. Tyler Spencer in position there to draw the charge. Number 15 for Pangburn going to be assessed with that foul. That's Caden Burgess. His first foul on the team's fifth foul. Oh, yes. sweet, sweet move. Spencer dumped it off there um, on the run. Eric Newell just jumps up, tips it right in. Just like they drew it up that way. I think they've practiced that a few times, and, and, and you could tell it looks <laughs> just smooth as butter. And down on the other end, Penguins tried to go inside there. Not sure if Little or Newell got the got the partial block there. Charlie immediately comes away with the breakaway layup. 30-second timeout. Spencer's, I'm not sure which, but... Spencer Twins were both down there on that end. We'll just um, go ahead and go to sponsors during this 30-second timeout. Coming back out of the timeout, 4.28 to go here in the second quarter. Shirley up 17 to 12 on Pangburn. Taylor Spencer gets a tip. And the fingertip roll on the layup. Number 44, Rhett Tharp got the rebound there under the basket. He's fouled. Eric Newell is going to be uh, called for his second personal foul. Fourth team foul. Penguin at the line. Free throw. Free throw will fall. Free 
3.47 to play here in the second quarter. Little handling the ball, gets it over to Tyler Spencer. Tyler's going to come off the screen by Newell, find Bradford underneath the goal. It's going to be partially blocked. Newell came up with it, tried to get it out to uh, Taylor Spencer, but Pangburn knocked it away. Pangburn's going to have a wide open three look there, but it won't go. Pangburn's going to come up with the rebound. The coach is going to have them pull back and set up here, as we've seen them do several times down the court so far this game. Ten seconds down on the shot clock. Tyler Spencer got himself uh, right in the position there. Hangburn uh, was trying to rush because the shot clock was winding down. Taylor, excuse me, Tyler's going to draw the draw the charge there. From the good, from the corners up and nothing but nets. Little cold start in the first quarter there, but maybe he'll come alive. He surely needs his three-point shooting for sure. Pangburn's again. Shot clock down to ten again for Pangburn. Down to four, three. Oh, and they make the basket there with just one tick of the clock left. I thought Shirley was going to be able to defend that time, but they found the open man. Tyler Spencer drives to the basket. Gets a layup for Shirley. Taylor Spencer, great hands here. Knocks the ball away. Comes down, rebound. Or comes down, gets the layup brother was right there to rebound it had it not gone really good anticipation there uh, by Taylor Spencer to anticipate that pass and then get quickly down to, uh, to Shirley's basket and get the basket Hunter Bradford open from the corner is three pointers good 106 to play here in the fourth, or the fourth quarter, my goodness, <laughs> the second quarter. Hangburn, even though they trail, uh, going to continue to just work the ball down here. They got the shot up but missed. There's 40 seconds left, battle on the floor for it. Hangman's going to be Hangman's going to be called with the traveling violation there before Shirley could get the ball ball tied up. And I think the Hangman player slid on the floor there, and of course um, that's always going to be called a traveling violation. 39 seconds on the game clock, 35 on the shot clock, so just a few seconds differential there. And it looks like Shirley will will work to here. for the last shot of the half. Alex Gardner back in the game for Shirley. Shot clock's down to 10. Spencer looking for the three and it's good. Three seconds left, two seconds left. Hamburn will get the shot away. But it's off the mark. So we'll go into halftime with Shirley up 32-15. You're watching Lake Area Sports.
At Knapp Trust, they specialize in insulation and creation of custom wood trusses for your home or business. Knapp Trust utilizes only premier lumber to ensure our products last. When you come to Knapp Trust, you will have the peace of mind knowing you're receiving the best quality construction for the best price in the area. Knapp Trust staff members have years in the industry and know what it takes to install a quality trust from the start finish. Call Nap Trust at 870-948-2105 today. You know, growing up and watching my dad do business, he always instilled in me to make sure you support your local communities and your state. That's why at Red River, we've made it our mission to be involved, like the Arkansas Food Bank or the Heber Springs Firework on the 4th of July or just the local school district. We do everything we can to plug in and give back in our communities. That's why we want you, the next time you're looking for a new Ram Dodge Chrysler Jeep, to make that beautiful drive to Heber Springs during this Black Friday sales event. At American Safeguard Insurance, you get an actual human being just down the street to get advice on the confusing world of insurance. There's no need to shop around every time your insurance company tries to raise rates. You can relax and let us do it for you. Having a choice is a big deal, and when insurance companies compete, you save money. One of the most important benefits is we actually monitor your premium for rate increases. If we notice a rate increase, we reshop your premium to ensure the best rate. And when the time comes to use your insurance, and we hope it doesn't. You have a friend to help guide you during one of the most stressful times of your life. All your needs under one roof, from vehicle to life insurance, and everything in between. We protect it all. Hey folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboy Chevrolet Buick GMC in Heber Springs, the lake area's fastest growing GM dealership where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysCBG.com where you can pick out your vehicle, get an appraisal, pre-approval, and even purchase from your living room. Every new vehicle purchased comes with a complimentary 7-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, and we deliver anywhere in the state. The service don't stop there. We also have a state-of-the-art service facility and collision repair center. So for all your automotive needs, come see us at Cowboy Chevrolet Buick GMC in Heber Springs. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy has been serving the Greer's Ferry Lake area since 1976. They are located on the back side of the Court Square in downtown Heber Springs. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy offers private consultations, Medicare enrollment, and immunizations for pneumonia, flu, COVID, shingles, tetanus, and more. They also test and treat strep and flu. Their staff is committed to providing fast and friendly service. Stop by today to see why Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy is Greer's Ferry Lake's number one independent pharmacy. Davis is more than just a hardware store with six locations to serve you in Heber Springs, Greer's Ferry, Sherwood, Pea Ridge, Fayetteville, and Centerton 
They are your one-stop shop for hardware and home improvement. They are also the home of the Lake Boutique, featuring clothing, footwear, jewelry, accessories, baby items, home decor, and kitchen items. Whether you're building a new home, improving your old one, or needing a gift for yourself or someone else, stop by one of their locations and experience all that they have to offer. We're ready to get started back here in the second half. We had some exciting action going on at Lake Harry Sports today. The um, state championship cross-country competition was held down in Hot Springs today. Uh, Quitman boys and girls both came home state team state champions. Um, I know Maddie Cabana from Clinton uh, won the individual state championship um, in girls. Um, Dak Hip, uh, Westside Girls Ferry, uh, finished fourth uh, in 1A boys. Uh, let's see who else. Savannah Duncan from Quitman, fourth in 2A girls. Uh, Tate Stacks from Quitman uh, won the um, the boys' individual state, ch uh, state championship as well as the team winning the state championship. Um, and let's see who else here was in the top. It looks like those are the uh, participants that were in the top um, that were in the top five. If I have time, I'll come back to you and get you those that were in the top ten. But very proud of all those uh, schools representing here. Oh, let me get us back to full screen too. All right. Shirley got the quick basket there after the half. Uh, Taylor Spencer gets the ball there. Tori's or. Uh, Shirley's going to be able to score again there to put the lead 36 to 15, 731 to go. Hanger's going to drive inside there. Hogan Little tried to uh, draw the charge there, uh, but it was a nice no call. Good defense, but good offense as well. Tyler Spencer is going to come right back immediately, get it in the paint to Eric Newell. Eric Newell's double team there, uh, kind of split the defenders and just, just strong to the basket. I'll tell you, if I was Shirley, I would keep that play going until they caught on and <laughs> learned how to defend it <laughs> until or until we down. missed. That's right. So. <laughs> Yeah, uh, what very, a great job coaching yeah. there. Keep playing that, using that play, using that, you know, big guy down low, really good. Hard to handle. Again, Rose Buds with three seconds left on the shot clock. They get the three to fall. I missed what number that was. Little's going to answer for Shirley. His three-pointer was up and good. He's been very efficient from the three-point line tonight. 5.50 to go here in the third quarter. Shirley pushed their lead to 21. Hamburn has stayed at their game plan, which is to continue to work the ball down here. Uh, they rarely take a shot before they're within 10 seconds of the shot clock. This time they took the shot with about five seconds to go on the shot clock. So they have certainly stuck to their stuck to their game plan tonight. Little drove to the basket there and it's knocked away by Pangburn. They'll get the ball back. 20 seconds on the shot clock. They found. Tyler Spencer in the corner for three, won't go. Eric Newell tips the ball out, back out to Tyler. Tyler's going to drive inside, it's going to get knocked off his head there, but he's going to come back up with it, and he gets it over to the corner. The little, won't go, Tyler's rebound. He's going to get taken away there. Little's going to stay with it though on the other end. Get the steal, get the assist. Eric Newell there to finish. Four 
score 53. Whoops, I've got the score wrong, or do I? Have they just not put it up yet? They're showing 43-20 on the board. Yeah. Maybe I put two. Uh, maybe I got a little excited and put two <laughs> baskets up when I couldn't, and I shouldn't have. Oh, I think I'm not pressing enter. That's my problem. There we go. 43 to 20. Angry shot from the corner. And rebounded by number 44. Uh, Rhett Fart got the rebound there. Kicked it back out. Shirley gets the ball back. Spencer's going to drive down, dump it off the middle. Now they're up to 45, and I've got the score right. Tried to give them those points a little too early. Hangburn looking for the long three there. That's unusual. They shot the ball with probably 25 seconds to go on the shot clock. Instead of winding it down under 10 seconds. Again, looking for the long three. Won't go. Shirley rebounds. Little's going to push it up, get it to Hunter Bradford in the corner. Hunter Bradford. It's money. Just. Hunter Bradford's money from the corner. Yep. <laughs> It's been uh, it's been a, a great spot for him the last two games. Pretty much the whole season, um, Hunter shot very well for the season, barring one night at Southside Bee Branch where we couldn't buy a basket with a million dollars. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get a chance to make that back when uh, when we face them in the um, First Service Bank, the first round of the First Service Bank Classic Tournament. We'll be taking on Southside Bee Branch. I think it'll be a different ball game um, just because I just don't want to jinx this, but I don't think that we could possibly have everybody have that bad of a shooting night um, on the same night again. All right. Uh, back to action with this game. Just quit talking about the pass here. Got Pangburn at the line. Little was called for the foul, his second foul of the game. At the line. Number 12, that's Cade Rowland. Missed both his free throws. 309 here to play in the in the third quarter. Shirley with a comfortable lead, 48-21. Hogan Little drains that. Drains that three. Shot that ball with a lot of confidence. Penguin's gonna answer back. Oh, I put up 223 points on the scoreboard. Let's get that corrected. All right, here we go. Taylor Spencer drives it, dumps it off to Eric Newell. And they make it look easy when it's really not. Penguin tries to come back, get the ball. They're just inside the three-point line, but it, it's not going to fall for them. Little's feeling the hot hand now. He got that last one to fall, and this one was even further out, and he drains it. 56 to 23. Just cannot get the score out tonight. There we go. Pangburn's going to try to answer back with the three themselves. Won't go. Shirley's going to come. They've got the numbers. Spencer, Ty Taylor Spencer, going to kick it over to Tyler Spencer. Well, Hunter Bradford off the mark, but he wasn't in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> in his favorite spot. He's out on the wing there. We got 134 left to go here in the third quarter. Famer got the ball inside there. He's able to sneak behind the defense. Number double zero, Ashton McKee. Ashton's going to be fouled by Eric Newell. That's Eric's third foul, the second team foul. We have 127 to go here in the third quarter. McKee's free throws up. I'm good. Newell's going to come and take a break and sit on the bench yeah, for a few minutes to get Newell's, a rest. Newell's going to get a breather, and with that third foul, just going to go ahead and sit him, just uh, protect that. Checking in for him is Alex Gardner. Alex always does a good job. And he comes into the bench it's really fast. Plays really good defense. 
Also checking into the game, uh, number 32, Gunner Williams. Gunner's giving them some quality minutes off the bench this year, too. They're going to call Little with his third foul, and McKee's going to be back at the line. His first free throw's up and good. Second free throw off the back of the rim. Taylor Spencer pulls the rebound down. A lot of pressure defense there. He gets out of it, gets it over to Tyler Spencer. Little's. Three is off the mark. Pangren going to come up with it. Shirley contested, but Pangren gets away with it. Comes down the court looking for a teammate there. A little miscommunication. Pangren uh, throws it out of bounds. That'll be Shirley's ball. 102 here to play in the third. Shirley up 56 to 25. Tyler Spencer driving, finding Taylor Spencer in the corner. Basket won't go. Hamer threw it away, though. Alex Gardner is going to come up with it. He goes, to, drives to the baskets, partially blocked there by Tharp. Twenty-three seconds to go here in this quarter. Pangren with three off the mark. Pangren's going to tip it out of bounds there. Shirley's going to get it back with 12 seconds to go. Five seconds on the shot clock. Or on the game clock. Hogan Little's on the step back three. Right at the buzzer. And he nice dra shot. drains it again at the buzzer. Hogan's gotten the heated up here in the second half. That's either his third or fourth that he's hit. Yeah, he's hit, hit several there. from made the NBA. A, <laughs> yeah, made a big difference there to kind of blow that, kind of blow that lead up. Shirley uh, up 59 to 25. And we'll go ahead and take a look at our wonderful sponsors in between quarters here. Let's see if I can get this series of events set up right this time so that we don't have advertising scrolling at the bottom of the screen during the game. And we do have the scoreboard up. And scoreboard's right. Okay. Maybe we'll get this final quarter right for you. After we had those technical difficulties during the end of the girls' game, just kind of got me frustrated. And I... Uh, Haven't been as focused as I needed to be here. Penguin's going to get their own rebound and get it back up and in. Checked into the game for Shirley's number 25, uh, Brandon Blair. Hogan Little will be going to the line shooting. Yes, number three, Jacob Ramsey. Called for that foul. Hogan to the free throw line. I guess the free throw line's too close for him. He's been draining everything from way past the three-point line, but he missed, uh, missed that free throw. Let's see if he can get this one to go. Second one's up. Oh, off the back of the rim as well. Penguin rebounds. A little there. Little tapped 
uh, tipped it. I thought maybe they were going to call it tipped off of Pangburn, but they are going to call that tipped off of, of Hogan, but still a, a good job of being there and possibly creating that turnover for Shirley. Number 14 looking for three for Pangburn. Off the mark, little rebounds. Nice little behind the back pass there, and then dumps it off to dumps it off to Gardner, but he's going to uh, get called. They're going to call a foul um, on the floor prior to him dumping the ball off. So Shirley will have the ball out of bounds here. Checking in for Pangburn's number 25. Tim. Tim Miller, I believe. Shirley inbounds it. Nice pass right there. Hunter Bradford. Great job getting himself in a, a lane there. And uh, Little just threads the needle to get that pass into him. Gunner Williams coming down with the shirt with the rebound for Shirley here on the other end. Hogan Little's gonna push the pace all the way to the basket. Layups up and good. Now the uh, mercy rule will be in effect for the rest of the game. So this last uh, last quarter will go by pretty quickly without the clock stopping. Number 32 or number 12? Who was that? 32, I believe. 32. Muscles his way in there for Pangburn. Gets a, uh, gets a basket to go. Hunter uh, Bradford looked for the three in the corner. Long rebound pulled down by Pangburn. Got the ball in the basket. Alex Gardner is going to go in there and battle for the rebound. Little's going to go to the basket on the other end, and he's going to get. He's not going to get the layup to go, but he is fouled, and so he'll go to the line. He'll be back to the free throw line. And there he found his mark. I was going to say, if he misses this, and I back him into that key, he'll as far back to <laughs> yeah. that three-point as possible. Then We're going to need you to free shoot those free throws <laughs> from the three-point line, sir. <laughs> he got that free throw to fall. He'll have one more. Um, both Taylor and Tyler Spencer and Eric Newell all checking back into the game for Shirley. Little second free throw won't go, and Tyler Spencer is going to be called there for a push on the rebound. I believe or did they just call it out of bounds? I guess they just called it out of bounds. I don't see a foul going up. Cool. Uh, checking in to Shirley for Shirley. Uh, number 33, Gunner uh, Williams is back in the game. Also checked in is number 24, uh, Landon Risher. Number 25, Brandon Blair. Back in for Shirley. Pamer gets a wide open look. That's number 10 that had checked into the game. Tanner Doyle stepping up and getting a big, uh, big three to fall for Pangburn. Tyler Spencer handling the ball here for Shirley. Dumps it over to Taylor Spencer. Three minutes uh, to go in the ball game. Landon Risher look for the a basket there, but it's off the front of the rim. Shirley gets the ball back. Tyler Spencer got it back into Landon Risher in the paint, but his pass is blocked. Hangman's going to get the back door, back door basket there on Shirley. Checking in now for Shirley is number 15. Ronnie. I believe it's Ronnie Draper or Daper. And... Number one, Blake Barnett. Working the ball over, number 24. Wide open, it's off the mark with end of rebound. Barnett's gonna look for the basket out of the corner, won't fall, Shirley gets the rebound, tries to save it inbounds. It goes back to Pangburn. Blake Bradford defending here, knocks the ball away. Into Landon Risher. Risher's going to get the ball up back up to 
Taylor Spencer. Barnett's three out of the corners, off the mark. Bounced off a foot there. They're going to call that a kick, and that's going to be Payne. Payne's going to be able to take that back out of bounds. Checking back in for Shirley, number four, Alex Gardner. So that's Ronnie Draper, number 15, in for Shirley. Finally got his name right. I think I mess him up every game. Payneburn gets the basket there. Tim Miller, again, is able to score in the lane. Payneburn comes up with the ball there. Going to go for the layup. Layup's not going to fall, and foul's going to be called on number 15, Ronnie Draper. Free throw line for Pangburns, number 21, Mason Decker. This free throw's up and good. Second free throw's off the back of the rim. Rebounding for Shirley, number 25, Brandon Blair. Pangburn knocks the ball away, gets the ball back. 28 seconds left to go here in the game. Shots up, no good. Pangburn rebounds. Going to be a foul call on the floor. 20 seconds left to go, so let's take the ball out. Here's probably going to eat up the last few seconds. Hamburg gets the ball back inbounds with 10 seconds. Shirley's going to get one last look here. Seven seconds. Blake Barnett's got the ball. Trying to get, trying to get down the court to get that last shot off, but uh, foul's going to be called on the floor. And we got less than a second left on the clock here. And they're just going to go ahead and let the time tick off. And we're going to have a final score here. Shirley, 64. Payneburn, 37. Thankful that you guys were uh, hang out here with us. Sorry about the technical difficulties earlier and the lack of focus in the boys' game. But the boys got it done tonight. Um, be on the road next week. I believe Tuesday we're at Fox at Rural Special. And then Friday back at home. So we will see you next week. Have a good evening and everyone stay safe. sold more Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram vehicles than the Landers family. If you're looking for a hassle-free, stress-free buying experience, then Cowboy Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, and Clint is your place to shop. We've got all the trucks you're looking for with brand new V8 Ram trucks starting at just $29,988. If there's a job to be done, we've got the truck for it. Ram 2500, 3500, gas or diesel, crew cab, mega cab, or cabin chassis, we've got all the trucks. Nobody will beat a Cowboy deal on your next Jeep with up to $5,000 off or an available 0% interest. Shop us today. Jeep Gladiator, Wrangler, Grand Cherokee, Wagoneer. It's all in stock and ready to deliver. If you want to pay too much, buy somewhere else. If you want the car deal you've always waited for, Cowboy Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Clinton is your place to shop. It's quick and easy. Jump online at CowboyCDJR.com or give us a call at 501-745-5333. Cowboy up or you'll pay too much. If you or your student athlete are looking to get back in shape or for therapy after an injury, give Ivy Physical Therapy a call at 501-362-8118 or visit ivyphysicaltherapy.com.
Trust. They specialize in insulation and creation of custom wood trees.